North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has arrived in Vietnam, a day ahead of his summit with President Trump, and the city of Hanoi is bustling with final preparations to greet Kim and his delegations. For more on that, let's go straight to Park Ki jun who's standing by at the Malia Hotel, where Kim will be staying. Ki jun Right, Hyun, it's a big day for the entire capital, but it's even more hectic here, right in front of Malia Hotel. Kim Jong-un is heading toward Hanoi by car from Dongdang Station as we speak after more than a 60-hour train ride. He'll be here any minute now. And security is as tight as it can be. The road in front of the hotel has been totally blocked. Police have set up barricades around the hotel and on the street that Kim will be using to get to the hotel. Now, cars have to take a detour around the venue because they've blocked pretty much all sides of the hotel. No one other than guests at the venue are allowed to enter the building. An elevator has been specially reserved for Kim Jong-un, who will be staying at the street on the 22nd floor. And they're not letting any of us inside the perimeters, especially the press. You can really see how tense and nervous the security personnel are as we're drawing closer to Kim's arrival. And it's not just the press waiting for the North Korean delegation. Locals have been waiting since earlier this morning to get even a small glimpse of Kim Jong-un. All right, so the city in general really seems eager to greet to North Korean leaders. So what do we know of Kim's itinerary? Well, infor- unfortunately, it's hard to say for sure as of now, to you, and we do know that tomorrow, Kim is going to have his first face-to-face with President Trump. After a brief one-on-one, the two leaders will have a social dinner joined by two of their close aides from each side, and that includes Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Kim is also planning to have a summit with his Vietnamese counterparts during his Hanoi trip. If early, that meeting could even happen today, but if not, after the North Korea-U.S. summit. It's also believed that Kim could make a stop or two at some key locations in the country. Possible places include Halong Bay, a popular tourist destination, and industrial sites in Haiphong or Pangin province. After all, Kim did tour industrial sites back in the Singapore summit, and Vietnam's economic growth is well known to be of great interest to Kim Jong-un. Well, that's all I have at this hour. Back to you soon.